So, Tim, thanks for being late to the party with me today. You I bet. Got, I have Tim Mack with me. So today, Tim, we're playing, we're continuing with Spellcasting 101, Sorcerers Get All the Girls. It's, <laughs> it's a uh, great title. Yeah. It's a little, uh, it's kind of racy. It's a, an, I don't know if I'd call it an adult game. So far, it's been pretty tame. It has well meaning of, of trying to titillate, though. Yes. Just to recap, this is a, a game, the hero is named Ernie Eaglebeak. And he starts off trapped with his uh, evil relatives. They lock him in the attic and uh, they kind of beat him and treat him like a slave. And his only hope of getting out of there is going to wizarding school. So I don't know if that seems familiar to you at all. I was going to say it sounds strikingly like Harry Potter. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So uh, we, we talked about that on the first uh, episode. But uh, yeah, it's. I'm thinking that uh, J.K. Rowling might have a case this game came out in 1990 and i think the first harry potter book was what late 90s or something like that 98 or 99 yeah i, w I was working at at&t in 97 and i remember reading the first book like on lunch right uh around that time so right so um what uh we've done so far is ernie has um we've made it we've helped him escape and he's now arrived at Sorcerer you. Okay. And he's uh, just in line here. So And 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 he's in line at Donkey Dung Hall. That's, yes, yes. That's quite a name. Yeah, you'll notice uh it's got a, you know, kind of a JK Rowling feel to the all the funny names. Okay. The uh I forget who it's who said it. There was a I think it was an English comic who said a British comic who said the lowest common denominator in comedy is silly names, and this game definitely um, takes that to heart because it's mm. got a lot of goofy, goofy uh, descriptions and names and stuff like that. So, um, we're uh, I guess I'll examine the line, see what's going on. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, inventory. I was gonna show you my inventory too, just so you have an idea of what uh, we're carrying, which isn't much. Okay. Got a registration form, and we're wearing a cloak, although I don't think it's an invisibility cloak. Sorry, I think I used that joke previously. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's one of a m many of a long line of Harry Potter jokes we'll be making. Just to give you a quick idea of the UI, there's a long list of verbs alpha, alphabetized, so you can kill and kiss and kick. My favorite is uh, this one, screw. I think we'll, that'll come in handy. <laughs> um, but at this point... That was, that was one of my problems with playing adventure games. Yeah. Um, prior to a, any sort of UI yep. you know you could you could put in a verb but you know you you had no concept of what verbs are were actually going to be uh, uh, triggered uh, in the game that actually would work so right I think that was half the uh, half the mystery of those games was trying to figure out what, what words the game actually understood yeah so this is a nice uh, this is a nice evolution of the uh, uh, of the text adventure I covered this a little bit on the first episode but um, I, Sierra really came out with the first uh, graphic adventure games and then uh, LucasArts came in and refined everything by making it point and click like right. uh, Maniac Mansion I think was their first game and they had the same kind of thing where there's a list of commands you can do although I don't think it showed you what was available to interact with but I can't remember but uh, this is a nice it's a nice clean UI. It's a nice uh, evolution of that uh, idea. So yeah, like you say, it's, it makes things a lot easier when you can see what you can do and you can actually see what you can interact with. So it's not a pixel hunt. Mm -hmm. like yeah. Some of, the, some of those point and clicks like, um, what, what was the one I was thinking of? Uh, Gabriel Knight and stuff like that. They were like little pixel hunts where you, you didn't have a text parser. All you could do is point and click. So you'd have right. to find 
exactly what it was you can interact with on this you know the artist would draw the scene and then you'd have to figure out what was usable and, and they what would wasn't. they would never put anything that would sparkle on them either so you could you you know it, it could be right in front of your nose but if you didn't just happen to click just right you'd never know right right so this is much better where you can see what you're interacting with so um, enter line wait Luckily, the line is moving quickly, although I don't see anybody moving on the screen. But I guess technology wasn't quite advanced enough. There's a little bit of animation, and you'll, I don't want to, it's just so you're not frightened, Tim, every once in a while, very sparsely, it'll, uh, it has some audio. Okay. So it's just, and it's very rare, so it kind of, you kind of jump when you hear it. Uh, Eagle Beak, your ID number, ID number is 9179. Echo is alumni sector 14. Physical skills is... There we go. We are a registered student of Sorcerer U. <laughs> better, better than being a registered uh, sorcerer at FU. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. Here we are at Bat Guano Court. The uh, author of this game must have watched uh, Doctor Strangelove a few too many times. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's look again because you have Melt Melting Wolf Hall to the east you have north and south the stadiums to the west there's a brick walk that leads northwest and southwest and there's an impressive fountain in the center of the courtyard and I have to say it is quite impressive a stone plaque is nestled amongst the shrubbery bring us a shrubbery <laughs> I always like reading the plaques even though they seem to be fairly useless in this game yeah Dr. Horace Bat Guano, President. Okay, let me look one more time. Hut, 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 hut. Oh, a pile of newspapers. Get newspapers. The greatest rule of adventure gaming is pick up everything that isn't nailed down. Right. Hey, well, we got some nymphs out of the newspaper here, yeah. so. <laughs> Maybe they're naughty nymphs. <clears throat> exactly. Actually, that reminds me. Um, I think we're playing the game in tame mode. Mm, okay. So what I'm going to do is switch it to naughty mode. So <laughs> any children leave the room. Do not attempt to play this game in naughty mode if you are a minor or if you're on the pruder side or if Jesse Holmes <laughs> is within earshot. So it kind of dates the game a little bit. Everyone says now, who the hell is Jesse Helms? Read newspaper. Whoa, I thought I took one. Take paper. I could think I'd try to take the whole pile, and the nymphs gave me a slap down. Mm. Read newspapers. Huh? Maybe it's the plural. Newspaper. There we go. Uh. The Sorcerer Source. Source. Oh, I don't understand that at all. <laughs> I don't get yeah. that joke. Okay, let's quickly read the news. Whoa. Read news. Tap a keg of brew. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Concert will be held. That might be interesting. Uh oh, classes are starting. So, so that's interesting that the game has some sort of internal clock. So, I'm I'm assuming we could continue to read the other two sections, but maybe we would then be late. Right. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. I forgot to point that out. That there's a clock there that's ticking away, but of course it only advances when you do an action. Mm-hmm. Um, so we probably should get, I'm not, 
I was trying to figure out how you look at your schedule. Like what you, how do you know what classes to go to? Although it's pretty simple. Every, cla every class except physical skills is at Melting Wolf Hall. Hmm. So, and that's just right to the west, I think it said. I'll take a look before yeah, we so go. So you got you got examined and scheduled. That probably would work. Oh, is uh, there a schedule there? Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah. So there is. Examine. Schedule. Oh, I've got I've got it here anyway. This mm, is what this okay. is a sheet. I'm, this is the registration form I'm looking at. Okay. Uh, so it's Tuesday, Tuesday and Thursday at one. To the, yeah, it's Melting Wolf Hall. So let's hurry up and get to class before we're late. Melting Wolf Hall is to the east. E whoops, don't know what I was typing there. Well, and now I'm yelling. Okay. Melting Wolf Hall. Mythology 101 is in session. Well, we made it to class. More college hijinks next episode.